Have you seen Beauty? No. Ah. Uh... Hey, Internet, it's Jessica, and welcome to The Wolf Among Us. So, I know I'm a little bit late to this party because this game came out a couple of years ago. I never got a chance to play it myself, but being as I enjoyed um, The Walking Dead and Game of Thrones, and I did play a bit of Tales of the Borderlands, so I did enjoy the way that Tales of handled the, their stories. I'm just wondering how they handled The Wolf Among Us. So, I don't know anything about this story, so I'm going into this completely blind. All I know is that this is based on a comic book this should be really interesting and considering that they announced season two coming out next year i figured why not just just play it all right episode one dang this looks really intense <laughs> the game series adapts to the choices you make the story is tailored in how you play so like any other telltale game any of the choices i make may be different to someone else's and there's like different endings and dialogues to this once upon a time in new york city there lived a community of fairy tale characters known as fable town the fables who lived there arrived hundreds of years ago after they were exiled from their homelands through the use of magic spells called glamour they have protected their secret community for the mundane world sheriff big b wolf protects them for from each other oh oh okay the wolf among us Assuming that's us, right? It's from DC. Yeah, this is a DC comic, right? Yo, it's dark as hell. So this is us, right? This is, this is definitely more of a comic book style compared to, like, the Walking Dead because the the Walking Dead for Telltale is based off of the comic books rather than the show and this one definitely feels like it belongs in a comic book so I do appreciate Telltale's art style because it looks so cool uh, with the um, cell shading and stuff like that all right Smoke if you got him! Just kidding. Don't smoke, please. <laughs> Tenement building sometime after midnight. There's a frog. Oh, shit. Big B! Listen, mate. I, I know I don't look human. It's a problem, I'll get it. I just stepped out the apartment for just a second to see what kind of damage this drunk shit is doing. Just cut me a break, yeah? I'll get me glamour first thing in the morning. Close oh, okay. Um, well, no you know, if you're not supposed to be out in the open, man, you know, you shouldn't do that. Excuses, Toad. This is unacceptable. If you can't afford to look human, you're going to the farm. It's as simple as that. You can't send me up to me. So all the creatures have to look as like they are human. I'm assuming Bigby's a wolf, so. You know what I mean. Go see and he's responsible witch. for keeping everything glamour. Big B, in order. Trying, I'm sorry, I have no idea what the story is. So, like, if I get something wrong, please tell up. me in the comments. You please, you're going to anyway. <laughs> to have an entire family in glamour. Uh, 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 I don't know if I should be an asshole or not. I'm sorry. I don't, I don't know. Sorry. I can't give you a free pass on this, Toad. My hands are tied. Right. Sorry. Too much at stake. Whatever it costs, it's worth it. You don't want me catching you out of glamour again. Oh, what Fuck the hell? You know. See? This is what I told you about, Sheriff. You're just gonna stand there, do something, Big B, before he completely tears up the place. Okay, what the hell's going on upstairs? I should probably go handle this. Yes, please. Thank you. All right, cool. Don't just stand in the hallway, though, as a toad, though. <laughs> Someone's gonna see you. Very prick job, shite. Tell me how to spend my money. Dad, wow. your minds are shaking again. What did I say? You want a big bad wolf to take you away? No. Then get that fuck back inside. Wow, I was- I'm glad I was being a dick to this dude. Fuck you. What the hell?
All right. I know who I fucking am, you hear me? Hey, look at me. What is happening? Oh no, is this like some case of domestic abuse? Come on. Hang on, before I go in there. I know I should be, you know. Take a look. Take a good look. Know who I am now? Hey, look at me. Someone called the cops, assuming it's uh You know what fuck it, I'm gonna kick the door down, screw you. God damn you! No hey! Way. Oh, oh, this guy is dead. I'm gonna kill you. you got something on your face. Fuck are you talking about, you stupid <clears throat> Oh, yeah! <clears throat> I'll fucking kill you! Okay. You Why'd you hit her? Alright, <clears throat> you hit her? Oh, oh my god, okay, well... I guess we're gonna fight this asshole. What are you gonna fucking do, huh? Get the fuck out of the way before you get I'm gonna throw it I'm gonna be a total dick in this playthrough, I don't care. Woody, I'm gonna break your fucking face. Is that a fact? Yeah. Yeah, that's a fact. You got a shit fucking memory, Wolf. That's not how it went last time. Th it could this be how it goes this time. time. <laughs> Ooh. Oh my god, his bald head. Let's go to the sink. Dude, wash your damn dishes, dude. God. Oh, okay. Sorry, lady. I just ruined your sink, but you know, you gotta clean up the place. Had enough? Oh god. At least it's a fucking challenge. Yeah, you're the one who's getting your ass kicked and thrown around the room, so I don't know what to tell you, dude. Can we push him out the window? Is that a thing? Come beat the shit out of him. Oh, that's cheating! You can't just take the axe, dude! That's not fair! Yo, I want this axe. Give me it. Oof. Damn. Is he done? Are you done? Had enough yet? You should probably get out of here. Look, I'm not leaving until I get what's mine. You're not getting shit, bitch. Fucking put you in the ground. Oh, shut up. Shut up. Oh, fucking shit. You bogged my jaw. Good. Bastard. And still you talk. Fuck you. <laughs> uh, shit. what are you doing what are you here? doing here? These lips are sealed. All right. Okay, what happened then? What the hell is going on? What happened? A little misunderstanding that... Turned into a real shit show. Don't worry, you saw the best bits. Are you sure? Where that came from, girl. Oh my god, Knock can we like off. kill this guy? Are you all right? I'm hunky dory. Thanks for asking. Why was he hitting you? He asked me if I recognized him, knew who he was. I said I didn't. He started beating on me. Then you showed up, started beating on him. That about cover it, hun? I'm the woodsman, you whore. I saved the little red riding hood from this monster. I cut this. This guy's a broken jaw and he's still talking. Like, why? Stones! And threw him in the fucking river. Oh, we're gonna That's throw him out. You know what? I had enough about bitch. you, you know? Hey, what did I say? I said be nice, or you wait out. Come on. All right, bye, bitch. Oh, okay, we went out the window too. Well, <laughs> is 
Is he dead? Shit. I think I killed him. Hey, Toad. My car. Yeah. <clears throat> Give me a second. Oh, no, by all means. Take your time. Uh... Make yourself Can I get you anything? How, you have Can insurance? So, uh, how good is your insurance? I can't be mad at you. I called you, and you come to help. I can't be mad. Yeah, right. You were acting like a you dick earlier. Things end up more fucked than they started. Well, at least you're not fucking dead. He's not? Are you serious? This guy does not give up, does he? What is he, superhuman? Get off me, dude! Oh my god, oh, okay, that is just gross. Ah! I know you're fucking in there. Come on out, you fucking Oh, he's trying to get us to turn! Or turn off our glamour, I should say. No! No, Bengu, don't do it! Come on! Oh shit. What? What? Why did she do that? What the hell? Why'd you do that? Oh, and he's still al alive, too. Okay. Uh, what are you doing? What are you doing? I'm just getting what he owes me. You alright back there? I mean, your eyes and the teeth? You're not really supposed to do that, are you? Hell no, but you didn't need to, like, throw an axe through his head. Great. The guy's got an axe in his brain. He's not feeling that. It's more for me. He'll be fine. I'll kill you, you How is he still alive? Uh, no, you know, no, 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 come on, come on, come on. Son of a bitch can take plenty. Even if he is, like, it's not gonna solve anything, is it? It might cause more trouble. I'm assuming she's a fable, too. I'm just guessing. Ugh. You know what? Here. I'll give her this. Thanks. I just wonder what she's doing with that guy. These lips are sealed. Sorry. But is it really worth it that you're gonna get, like, hurt over it? Hey, you like my ribbon? Uh, uh, sure. <laughs> Beautiful. Thank you. Wait, why did she ask me that? Like, I feel like if I were like to say like talk about like wh who she works with, she's not gonna answer. We probably have. We all sort of knew each other at one point or another. Things change, I guess. I guess. Where'd the guy go? Shit. Stop. What? We don't have to make any more of a thing out of it than it already is. Well, okay, like, it's it's true that the guy hit her. I don't like, you know, especially, I don't care if they're male or female. If you're just hitting on someone just to get information and they didn't do anything, like, if you're not defending yourself, I, I don't qual qualify that as okay in my books, but, like, I don't know. I'm gonna say he hit you. That's, that's fucked up. He hit you. He needs to pay for that. He's got nothing to give, Sheriff. I checked. Besides, I just swung an axe into the guy's head. I'd say we're even. You were trying to kill him earlier. Should be arresting you. 
I'm not going to be doing this for much longer. So, now's your chance. We're not going to, are we? Oh, what was that? <laughs> was the OJ? A hundred. I'm guessing it'd be bad for you to show up empty-handed. I'll be fine. Are you sure? No, 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 I'm gonna help her. Let's I don't know see. why, I just feel like I should help her. It's 20, 40, 7, 8, 58. That's all I got. Uh, it'll help, right? Take it. It's okay. I'll be fine. You've done enough, really. Are you sure? Please. I don't want her to get hurt again. Okay. You got me out of a bad situation back there. Thanks. Yeah. I'm still gonna need a statement. I have to go drop off what I have. Meet me back at my office then. It's a little late for an office visit. <laughs> I don't think she's gonna come I back. By your apartment. How do you know where I You live in the smallest apartment in the woodlands. Everyone knows that. Oh, okay. Good to know. You should get cleaned up. I like thought it was like, is she stalking us? And I don't use that term lightly. Some of these look pretty bad. Uh, 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 what? Okay, well, I didn't get to answer. <laughs> or maybe not. Sexual tension. <laughs> I need to tell you something. What? What is it? You're not as bad as everyone says you are. Is he like, is he like Batman? You know what I mean? Like a vigilante? But he's like he, but he's like the police, right? So he's a detective. But like the the vigilante of the detective department. <laughs> well, that was a weird interaction. Alright, so what I've gathered so far from this is just like well, Big Bigby Wolf is just protecting all the, the fables within the city since they can't reveal their true selves because something happened, so they use a glamour spell to protect themselves. But I'm, I'm but that lady said that she knew him. Or no, they they seem familiar with each other. So far, so far I think it's interesting. I'm, I'm just a little bit confused as to what's going on, that's why. But, um, the art store is very nice. I like it. It's more comic-y than, uh, Telltale's other games, even though the majority of them are just graphic novel styles. This one is definitely heavily impacted, like, it's from- you can tell it looks like it's from the pages of the- the graphic novel. Episode 1, Fate. Where are we now? Oh, is this our apartment? Okay, let's see. What does this say? Stay off the grass. Sometimes be a disciplinarian. What the hell? Who is that? You're a little bit obvious there. Stay, stay off the grass. There's no walking on the grass. No white's orders. She made a sign and everything. I'll be sure to send her an apology. You Who are you? Hello, Big B. I wasn't expecting anyone. Okay, why know why did you hide? Odd. Why'd you hide when I walked up? Well, I didn't know who it was. You can't be too careful these days. Are you sure you could you could okay? No, can. Damn it, I'm late. That was a weird interaction. <laughs> Please, Big B. Promise me you won't tell Beast you saw me. 
he worries too much as it is, and... Uh, I can't promise because I don't know just if I have to later on. I'll just say I'm staying out of it. Whatever it is, it's between you and Beast. I'm staying out of it. I don't have time to go into it right now. I'll explain it all to you later. I will, but I have to go. She seems like she's in trouble with him. It's not what you might be thinking. Or maybe he's in trouble then, and then she needs help. But why was she hiding there? That's what I don't get. All right, good security, I guess. Beast, blue beard. Oh, okay, so there we go. Oh, maybe the- okay, so never mind. So Beauty lives here too with Beast. But I don't know why she was just like hanging out in the bushes there, hiding from Big B. I don't think she was just saying that like- Her excuse was like, you don't know who, who would be lurking. But I don't think that's the reason why she was hiding. I think she really doesn't want Big B to see. Oh, is that Beast? Big B, hey, wait up! Oh God damn it! <laughs> my wife? Have you seen Beauty? No. Uh, so, I just staying out of this. I'm staying out of it. Out of what? Whatever it is, Beast. I'm not a marriage counselor. Damn it! Something's going on. What does that mean? I don't want to- I don't want to intrude yet because I don't know what's happening, you know what I mean? Maybe that's a bad idea, but like, I don't have any context of like, what's going on with them. So maybe it's not Beast, it's Beauty, it's something she's dealing with. Big B's apartment, Fable Town. Why did he unhook the the Damn. phone so no one would call? <laughs> Damn, dude, clean up your apartment. Yeah, no shit. I'm thrown out a window and the guy got his axe, like, into his head. <sighs> Why do I even own this? Could've got a smaller one. Just ice cubes, huh? Damn it. Do we need, like, anything to drink or something? Bluebeard's file. Bluebeard? Never trusted this guy. So, like... So, like, Fable Town is just... It, it, is Fables, like, the comics? This is what this game is based on. Is it just, like, a bunch of, like, fairy tales uh, within this world, but they have to hide their identity because they can't... I don't even remember ordering. Say they're not humans or whatever. Probably a bad sign. Mm-hmm. Should help. Why the hell is there a pig there? What the hell? Who's this? Oh, hey, baby. Is this our roommate? <laughs> I'm in your chair, huh? Yeah, you are. I've only got the one. So, yeah. He's like, hurry up. <laughs> so, uh, this is awkward. Got a smoke? Just 
just hanging out with my best friend Colin in the apartment. Thanks. A couple thousand more of these will be even on that house you owe me. This has got to stop. You can't keep sneaking off the farm like this. The fresh air and sunshine pitch they sell you on is bullshit. I didn't escape out of the homelands to end up in some prison, okay? Don't send me back there, Bigby. You don't know what it's like, okay? You haven't been there. <sighs> yeah, okay, fine. I'm not sending you back. I feel like he's closer with this guy than the toad. That for me? Nope. <laughs> the house didn't blow itself down, Bigby. That's all I'm saying. Do with that what you will. Now, I'm not saying it's reason enough for me to have definitely been offered a drink, but, uh... It would have helped ease some of the pain you once caused me, yes. It also would have shown everyone how different you are now. <sighs> I'm just gonna drink. I feel Big B already. Like, I barely know anything what's happening, but this guy seems like he's under a lot of stress. Nice. I take it all back. This is why everyone hates you. Oh, gee, thanks, Colin. I was being nice. <sighs> everyone hates me? So, everyone hates me. Nah, I'm just giving you shit. You better be. I'm doing my best here. Clearly that is not true. What with the selfishness with the bourbon. But, uh, no. Um, hate's the wrong word. They fear you more than anything. You ate a lot of people back in your day. I thought I we guess were all supposed to Yeah, yeah I guess you would be scared of, like, a can't wolf, a past. werewolf, or a wolf, well, I don't you know. you can't change people's memories, either. Look, I'm not saying it's fair. But it's real. People are scared of you. I mean, look at your hands. What? Who'd you get in a fight with? A fable, right? I'm sure you're not going around punching Mondays. It's my job, though. Doing my job, right? Believe it or not. Your job is to beat the shit out of fables. No, he was being the shit out of someone. So. The farm. Fuck you. Oh. What? I didn't mean to be like a dick to him. I was just saying, like, I was just doing my part. Like, a bunch oh god. Of from killing each other. How do you think this all works? I don't know. How? By being big and being bad. By being big and being bad. Don't say that shit in front of people. It's embarrassing. <laughs> That's the attitude that gets you in trouble. I'm sure you were shitty to everyone you came across tonight. Not everyone. Not really. Name one. Uh, 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 there, uh, there's this girl. I wasn't nice to Toad, though. Awesome. Great example. Life is easier with friends, Bigby. And we live a long fucking time. I know you like this whole lone wolf thing you got going for yourself, but I've seen the way you look at Snow, okay? You're not fooling me. Will you shut up? Who's Snow? Well, maybe if my throat wasn't so parched, I wouldn't have to keep talking. Wait, that doesn't make Just sense. Just give me a drink, please. Colin, enough already. I haven't slept in two days. I went out a second story window, and I want to get in two seconds of shut eye before I. Look, if I give you this. Will you let me sleep? Yeah, yeah, all right. Probably. Maybe. Fine, take the goddamn drink. If you'll let me sleep. Thanks, Big B. Are we gonna sleep? I don't know. I feel like we're not going to. What the hell? Hmm. Alright, jeez. Calm down. I <laughs> like how he has to fix his tie. <laughs> Big B! Oh, no. who's this? Come with me. Oh, okay. So th that's who Colin was talking about. Snow. Snow. What? Sorry, I'm. 
What is it? Where are we going? What and what happened? I just can't get into it this second. We need to hurry to... Who the fuck is this Hi. guy? Hello. Good morning. Or evening. <laughs> yeah. Who's this? <laughs> These walls are paper thin. We need to be careful. We'll talk outside. Okay. Whatever you say. Was like Colin in, in like in, in implying that like Baby has a crush on Snow? Is that what he was just trying to say? Or has a thing for her? Who's that? What? This girl is she's not a Mundy, right? Who was she? What? What? What the fuck? She looks familiar. A working girl. A working girl? I don't I mean, I'm a working Who oh. killed her? Woodsman. Attacked her and I stepped in. And he threatened to kill us. Both. Oh my god, is that, no. if I let her kill that guy, he, is it him? I don't think anything yet. Just give me a second. It's just terrible. I, I, did anyone see? So, did you see anyone else? No, no one. No cabs, no voices, Mondays? Maybe, but no. I don't think so. I would remember. Okay. Big P, did one of us do this? There hasn't been a murder in Fable Town in a long time. All the more reason could, we should could be, you know, reason to on. start again. I'll have a look around. We don't have much time before people will be coming through here. It's either the woodsman, the one who was attacking her earlier, the big guy, or the person she works for. Those are the only two options. What the hell, dude? She was placed here with some care. What do you mean? You can see that someone didn't just toss her here. She was deliberately placed for us to find. Yeah, for sure. What kind of monster would do this? Strange kind. <sighs> what did this to her? What could do something like that? Either something very sharp or something with magic attached to it. What is that? What is? It's... Oh my god, it's her ribbon! There's some kind of symbol here. Huh. I, I don't recognize it. Neither do I. What the hell? Is that why she asked, like... Was that, like, a clue or something? She asked, like, is my... What do you think of my ribbon? Is there a reason for that? I'm, I'm sorry. This is just so surreal. No, it's fine. I get it. <sighs> um, what... What do you want to do next? No, let's investigate still more. Have some time. I should keep investigating the area. I'm still okay. curious. Good idea. We can't just like leave it like, oh, there's nothing. Okay, we got the ring, right? There's some blood over here. Blood. Drops of blood. I'd say it's been here an hour, maybe. Hmm. What is this? Scraps of fabric. Fabric. Looks like G. 
machines. Doesn't tell me much. That could have come from anywhere too. It doesn't exactly have to mean like it's from like the murder or something. Oh, there's blood. Just some loose trash. Hello, there is blood over here. Blood. Still wet. Sharp enough. Huh, okay. So it's either someone jumped over to get away or jumped over here to place the head? Maybe? I don't really know. Okay. Is there anything else? Nobody there. This is weird because earlier Beauty was here and she was like hiding. Could she could it be like related to this? What are you doing? Better to be thorough. Sure, just hurry up. We don't have much time. No, it's not her. I don't think so. We should move her before anyone shows up. We'll find out more at the business office. She'll be in the books. I'm sure of it. Big P, do you have any idea what's going on? Uh, Why her? This is definitely a message. I think it's targeted at this Big B. This is a message. A message? I don't know, Big B. I get complaints at the office all the time, but... It's not like Just that. about this makes you think that. The placement of the head, because, like, well, why would you yeah, deliberately exactly just put it there? Under... The Wait, no, the security exactly code is from her. Purposeful. She was placed here precisely for us to find. All of us. Yeah. Well, yes. I guess you're right. The killer wanted us to know what they had done. Because, like, if, like he said earlier, if he didn't care, they wouldn't just place it carefully like that. They would just toss it around or something. As a threat. About this. As long as King Cole is gone, he's acting mayor. He needs to know. And he's going to find out anyway, so we may as well get out in front of it. It'll just be worse uh, if he finds out we held it. From him. Okay, I'll I trust our judgment. I'll just say you do what you need to. He's our boss. This is part of the job. I guess it's useless to drag it out. That's how I feel too. I'm sure he won't be happy, but it's just part of the process. Hopefully he can be rational about it. I wouldn't hold my breath. <sighs> I'm not. I just don't want him interfering. Who are they talking about? I know it's their boss, but like, I don't think we met them, right? It's not that guy in the Crane's hallway, is it? not what's important right now. We need to figure out who this girl was so we can find whoever did this. Take this back to Dr. Swinehart. He can take a look at it. Okay. I'll meet you at the business office. Sure. Dude. Oh man, I'm sad now. I actually like that girl. But I think her, the reason why she said, do you like my ribbon, was a, like, like either a message or like a cry for help or something. Who the hell are these people? What are you, blind? Oh my god. You don't see there's a line? I've been standing here a half hour already. You get to just walk in? Must be nice being the sheriff. Do whatever the fuck you like. I work, work here, here, asshole. And what great work you do, Sheriff. Hmm. That didn't feel very genuine. Yeah, okay, you go laugh it up, buddy. I'm gonna walk in anyway. Fuck you. No wonder I don't blame him for, like, not making many friends. Everyone's an asshole here. Because you are the one bringing this to me, Miss Snow. The one who so simply stumbled upon this catastrophe on our very doorstep. The last thing I need with Mayor Cole away is a hysteria. Do you understand me? Whoa, yes, relax. Of I don't do. interrupt me, Miss Snow. You asked me a question. Don't yeah, change bitch. the subject. You are to blame for this unpleasantness, Miss Snow. I brought you this news as soon as I could. You are trusted to keep things running smoothly around here. This is a disaster. Back, Back off, off, you ass. Ichabod. It's not her fault. I don't need your help, Bigby. Instead of trying to assign blame, can't do anything you right. Out how to catch the fucker who did this. Oh, says the man who is most to blame for this catastrophe. Oh how my convenient. God, Sheriff, you are the one charged with protecting the citizens of Fable Town. Your failure to do so cost someone their life and the safety of the entire community. Tell me you've been doing something. Are there any leads, suspects, anything, anything at all? 
any shred of evidence you two know what the hell you're doing. Because right now, I have half a mind to fire the both of them. Bluebeard was mentioned. Don't be absurd. Bluebeard is out of the country as we speak. Yeah, so we can all be connected, you know? We don't know who the pimp is. The guy has a history of beheading young women. I'd say that's something worth checking out. If all you're operating off of is ancient history, we're all in much more trouble than I imagined. By that rationale, you're a suspect as well, Wolf. Oh, okay, fine. I'm a suspect as well. Thanks a lot, dude. Quickly and quietly. The last thing we need is all of Fable Town knowing there's a killer amongst us. Snow. Yes, sir. Call Vivian right this minute and let her know I'm coming in early for my massage. I will. Okay. It's not really the time to. Where say is the that? bottle of wine you were to purchase? <sighs> Don't bother. Forget it. Can't do anything right. Do your job, Sheriff. Oh my God! Why is this guy the? Someone who can. I'm not gonna say anything. Dick. You would have just pissed him off more. All right. Well, that could have gone better. I don't know what to say. Maybe we should have dragged it out. For what it's worth, I still think it was better to tell him. Yeah, yeah I think if we maybe. dragged it out, it would be a lot worse on us. He'd probably get more pissed. Oh, Crane doesn't like people smoking and... That ah, gives a shit. Never mind. <laughs> Smoke away. What's the wine about? Wine to a massage? Probably a gift. The weird part of that is that he's actually being nice to Don't go smoke in her Ooh, face, baby. That That's so rude. Is... Is he gone? Yes. What is this? Thankfully. Oh, you're the one who has the wine. Buffkin! Hello, Miss Snow. Drinking? This early? Where did you get that? It was by Mr. Rickabod's desk. Then don't you think it probably belongs to him? Maybe. All right. How are you today, Mr. Bigby? Not well. <laughs> Fuck off. I'm going to say not great. No, I'm going to be mean. He didn't do anything to me. Sorry. Yeah, not your fault. Thanks for asking, though. Buffkin. Get the books. Which books? The ones with all the fables in it. I'm not sure that was any more specific. Bring the first three. Be back in a few minutes. Okay. He knows the ones I'm talking about. There's bound to be information on her here. Somewhere. I keep Where seeing Book of Fables Unlocked. What the hell is that? Oh. Whoa. Okay, wait. Oh, so this is like the backstory of all of the, like the. Oh, okay. Be able to get her real name from the books whenever Buff can find them. In the meantime, poke around. Maybe the mirror can help. Uh, will it though? I really have to get this appointment squared away, but let me know if you need anything. All right. So we're. I I knew that was Snow White, but it's just a confirmation that it is her. So okay, let's talk to the mirror. Hey. Magic mirror. I got a question. You know the rule. I don't have time for this shit. <laughs> Your impatience is callow. You're needlessly cruel, but have some respect for our history and rules. <sighs> mirror, mirror. Uh, if you're able, tell me all about this fable. See? Was that so hard? Does he have to rhyme yeah, to like say it? Two seconds away from kicking a hole in you. There's no need for that. Fine. Of which fable do you wish to know? Uh... Uh... Woodsman. Show me the woodsman. Where is he? What you see is complete. The woodsman stumbles down a street. No shit. Which street? I'm sorry, Bigby. I can only show you what can be seen. Okay, that doesn't really help. Uh, Buffkin? Tell me Buffkin. Hey! Put He's down drinking! The and You're just going to the book! Still looking! <laughs> Asshole. Okay. Uh, Snow. Show me Snow White. Not much of a request. 
She's in this very room. <laughs> He's in love with her, right? <laughs> I don't know her name. Not yet, anyway. Well, until you do, I can't help you. Well, I'm sure we'll get it all cleared up. Okay. Thank you. Alright, so we got the books now, but I want to see the magic lamp. Can we talk to Genie? Worth a try. Nope, okay, I guess not. Uh, is there anything else I can look at in here? Guess the book, I guess. Book of Fables! Let's start with these. Any information on fables in our community will be somewhere in these books. All right, so this is Beauty and Beast, I'm assuming, right? I don't know who the hell these people are. Who the heck is this guy? The Headless Horseman. There's Colin's thing. Red Riding Hood. That's Snow White, so... I've seen this before. That's the sigil in the ring! This symbol on the man's clothes, it's the same as the rings. Could be her father, or husband. This has most of the emblems of the old days. Huh, and usually okay. what family they come from. If it's in here, we'll have her name. Hopefully. Alright, let's see. There it is, this one. This is the one. Where is this symbol from? Which family or story? That's an odd one. Family name? I'll go look it up. Okay. That means every kind of fur in German. Donkey skin. Yes. What does it say? Donkey skin girl, also known as donkey skin, also known as <laughs> ass <Just> skin. <laughs> I prefer to go by the name Faith. Poetic. Buffkin, we don't need the commentary. The story of donkey skin. There was once a great king with a beautiful queen. The queen grew ill and had her husband promise to only marry the most beautiful girl in the kingdom. After a long search, it became clear that the only woman in the land that could match her beauty was... Uh, his daughter, Faith. Ew! She had a magic cloak made from the skin of her father's prized donkey that would hide her beauty so she could escape his kingdom. Eventually, she married a prince who could see past the magic cloak and knew her true beauty. And they lived happily ever after. Oh. Should I mock it, Miss Snow? Yes. So her name was Faith. Please. Most likely. Wow. And what's her husband's name? Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. This is like a, like a very typical name. Prince Lawrence. Know what we came for. Yeah. Her name's Faith. She was married to Prince Lawrence. I mean, that's more than Her we... Her name was Faith. Yeah. You should talk to the husband. For sure. You think he did it? I don't think so, but like, we can't rule him out yet, you Nothing know? Nothing would surprise me at this point. Can't rule him out. He's the only lead we have at this point. Okay. Damn. That's what the fuck is this? What the hell are these tarot cards? All right. Anyway, I guess we can ask the mirror now, right? Let's guess about the card first, and then we'll ask about Faith. You know what this means? Tarot is a backwards art. I wouldn't put too much stock in its wisdom, Bigby. Not when you've been so helpful. Well, I was just asking. Revision's muddy. I'm as clear as a window. 
Wow, thanks for your help, dude. Mirror, mirror, blah, blah, able, blah, blah, blah about this fable. Of which fable do you wish to know? Uh, faith show first. Me, show me faith. Through powerful magic, her whereabouts concealed. Unfortunately for you, these lips are sealed. That's what she said to us. These lips are sealed. It's not my choice of phrasing, Vicky. It's simply the way this has to be. Huh. These lips are sealed? Why? Show me... Faith's father, the old king. Oh, he's dead. Guess that crosses him off the suspect list. Okay, Prince Lawrence. He's a prince, I think. Show me Prince Lawrence. What's he been doing? What the hell? Where is this? Where's what? Do you know where Prince Lawrence lives? If he's a prince, probably relocated in the South Bronx. Yellow building, red window shutters. There's red blood flag. and a knife, so yep, you know. That's the one. I can take us there. Okay, that's it. We're we're going. Right Thanks, Mirror. Yeah, that'll have to do for now. Come on, we're going over there. Great. Just when we're about Sorry. to leave. I have to get that. Okay. Hello, Woodlands Business Office. Yes, I... He is. Hold on. Bigby, it's for you. The hell who? Bigby, it's me, Toad. You there? <sighs> Toad, got your glamour yet? Yeah, 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 it's fine. Bigby, shit. You see what? It's Why is there, like, gunshots going on? Woodsman's things. Get over here, Bigby, before he... Oh, wait, hang on. What was that about? What the hell is what happening? Something going on over at Toad's place. What about Faith's husband? I don't know. I couldn't really tell. But he could be in trouble. And we should go there anyway to search her apartment. Toad might have to wait. Whenever you're ready. Alright, let's go. What if, like, the guy who was killing all of them is actually at Toad's place? So what's gonna happen? Did Toad say who was there? Was it the woodsman? I don't know. It's possible. Whoever it was, it didn't seem like Toad was happy to see him. Well, maybe Prince Lawrence can wait. Yeah, he didn't see him. He could use some help, too. Well, where to first? Do I have to decide where to go? Big, big shit. Listen, right? There's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman's things. You think he did it? What's her husband's name? Oh no, I have Lawrence. to choose. Oh no, Toad's apartment or Lawrence's apartment? Oh my god, okay. It's not that I don't trust Toad, I don't like him though, but like, I feel like if we don't get to Prince Lawrence's like apartment in time, we're not gonna figure out who who is killing them. But then again, it could be a trap, it could be like, the killer's actually at Toad's apartment or something like that. Fuck! You know what, I think I'm gonna go to Lawrence's apartment. Sorry, Toad! We need to tell him about his wife. He deserves to know. You're right. And Toad's a tough... Toad. He can probably handle himself for a few hours. <laughs> Maybe, or he's gonna be dead. Early morning, Lawrence's apartment. What the hell's up with that car over there? I don't want to stay here any longer than we have to, so let's just pick an approach and stick to it, okay? Okay. Just humor me. We're here to question Lawrence. Bump him up on the suspect list, or cross him off entirely. I don't want to mention okay. the mirror thing yet, because we don't know. It could be something just, else, you know? I just don't think he did it. In cases like these, isn't it usually don't the husband? He... For Mondays, oh, I, guess, I guess she has a point, because it would be too obvious that the husband murdered... Her, his wife. That'd be a little bit weird. I'm just saying that we should still check regardless. And it's locked, of course. You in there?
Lawrence. Hey, open up. It's Bigby. I need to talk. Oh, what to if you. he killed himself or something, or he's murdered? It's not answering. Can we not, like, bust the door down or something? Is that not a thing? Hey. hey. He's dead. Oh no, he's dead. Oh, we should have went to Toad first. Oh no. All right, we'll try this out. Guess we're out of options. Oh no, he's dead. Snow, Fun. you just help me up. Oh, okay. Actually, I wanted her to come with us. Just you know, nothing happens to her. Oh no! I should have went to Toad first. It looks like he's been dead for a long time, though. Oh God, we're too late. That makes what the hell? We need to figure out what the hell is going on here. Who would do this to them? I don't know, Snow. What the fuck? I think he was murdered. He looks like he's been dead for so long. Okay, let's look at the knife. The mirror showed me this. It's sharp. There's blood on the blade. I just don't understand. Why would someone want to kill him? The person that his wife is working for, assuming. Strange. The hard edge of this pool, like something was here and got moved. Maybe the the body of the wife, right? Like Faith herself. Okay, we're gonna look at that in a second. Oh, a little sticky. Oh my god. Alright, uh... Gotta look at Lawrence himself. <laughs> okay, there's pills here. What are they? Prescription sleeping pills. Huh. Dry. Interesting. That left a mark. Ruined his shirt. Well, no shit, he got shot, okay? <laughs> they never really look peaceful, do they? I wouldn't know. Okay, so what else do we have here? There's a bullet hole. Chair. When do you think that was taken? Before all this. Okay, let's check what the hell is in here. Oh, okay, I thought there was gonna be like a body there. <laughs> Son of a... There's a note. Dearest Faith, I never meant to hurt you, and I cannot endure knowing that I have. This was for the best. I'll see you again. Love your devoted Lawrence. No, but that makes no sense. That's not a suicide. I should know his face. There are so few of us. I should know his face. What? <gasps> Oh my god, Bigby, he's alive! What? What? How is he alive? What are you doing here? Let's get you back up. Oh. What are you doing here? 
What's going on? We found you here, in your chair, with what we thought was a fatal injury. We should call Swine. How is he alive? How are these people still alive? I'm so confused. You know who I am? Yes. Good. I have a few questions. Why? What? What's this about? When was the last time you saw your wife? When was the last time you saw your wife, Lawrence? I... I don't know. A few weeks ago. She... Came by to get some things. That's what she said. <laughs> I, I, why did I... <laughs> I think it was so she could leave some money. I, I didn't find it till later. We've been separated for some time now. Yeah, I kind of figured that. Lawrence, what did you do? I made a decision for us. It felt like the only way out, so I shot myself in the heart. Oh, I thought I'd be dead by now. It hurts like fucking hell. Oh, okay, so he did commit, try to commit suicide. Probably had a lung. Great. At least, that's how I think it happened. Things are a little fuzzy. Thought it was a bad dream. Why did you do it, Lawrence? I did it because I was ashamed. I, I couldn't live with myself. Done what? Knowing I had done that to her. I did what I could to keep her away, but she still worries about me. She comes by, makes sure I'm okay. I'm a fucking burden. I'm useless. I don't want her to have to worry about me anymore. She's better off without me, without me being here to drag her down. She deserves that. She's been through a lot. Dude, she's dead. Oh, and he doesn't wish know. I done better by her. She's always been there for me. I have to tell him the truth, man. I don't want to lie go about away. this. Just fucking go away. Ah. Uh, sorry to inform you that your wife has been killed. No. No. No, no, no. I knew this would happen. No, I'm sorry. I am. I'm gonna need you to help me find whoever did this. So you need to try and remember anything that could possibly help us. Fuck Georgie. Who's Georgie? Uh Lawrence. I uh What the hell? Are you expecting anyone? Okay, there's something weird going on now. We need to know why whoever's out there is breaking in. I need your help. What do I do? Just play dead. What? Trust me. You can't move in your condition anyway, so just stay still. The second we figure out what they're here for, Bigby will arrest them. Yeah, do it, please. We want to help you, dude. Think about your wife. How is he alive, though? I'm so confused by all of this. Okay, who's this bitch coming in here? What the hell? Who's this guy? I don't know who that is. I don't know if we should jump out yet. I want to see what he's going to do first. Is he like looking for something? Just stay quiet, Lawrence. What the hell? Oh shit, he's going to come over here, right? Hey! Oh no, it's stuck! Stay here! No! What? 
Should we? I don't think I should have done that, right? I should have let him come into the closet. <laughs> hey, stop! Leave me alone! Who are you? What the hell, dude? Come on! There he is. I, I'm, I'm glad I stayed on his trail. The open door was too obvious. Ow! How's it? Oh my god. No! Oh god. Inside here. Are you we? Son of a bitch. Make me run after you. Who are you? What? Who are you? Listen, man. I'm a private investigator. I don't believe that. You're looking for the woodsman, right? My employer is looking to ask him a few questions, too. We could hit him, but... No, who are you who really? Are you exactly? I'm D, and I'm a private investigator. There's a business card in my shirt pocket. You can see for yourself. This is for a sandwich shop. Really? Huh. Must have run out. Don't believe who you. Who hired you? I can't tell you that. It's confidential. Sorry. Sure, you understand. No, I don't. Nope. Can't say that I do. Come on, you're coming with me. This could have been easy. No, oh, don't worry. It still is. Come on. Dumb. Dumb? Yeah, it is. Look, it'd be much easier for you. No, to... I'm D. He's dumb. <gasps> oh. Well. He almost looked peaceful. I didn't see that coming. <laughs> Aww. Yep. Except you're lying in a dirty alley. Yeah. With an open wound on the back of your head. Yeah. <sighs> Where'd they go? Where'd they go? Well, after the one guy hit you and the other one finished kicking you. That explains the ribs. Then they jumped into a car and drove off. Great. Come on, get up. That guy was not a private investigator. <laughs> we should check in on Toad. See if there's anything there that can get us back on the trail. I'm very confused about how the Fables can survive, like, all these attacks. Like, obviously they can be killed, but, like, the Woodsman's got, like, an axe through his head, and then this and guy tried to kill himself, Lawrence, but he's still alive. You guys made a real mess. Yeah. Looks worse in the day. Oh, there's the hole we made. I don't think anybody's here. We came all this way for nothing. <laughs> all right, son. All right, he's gone. He's left. It's over now. It's happening. I swear, if this guy was, like, lying to us or something, I'm gonna be so pissed. Is that his son? Toads? I think. What? Nice in there, okay? Fine. <laughs> hey, Toad. You in there? Big B and Miss White. Surely you didn't come all this way just for my bother. We kind of did. What happened? Sorry, Big B. 
it's embarrassing to have to admit, but uh, I thought there was someone else in Woody's place. There wasn't, though. Uh, not when I checked. <laughs> Nothing but a leaky drain pipe. Imagination must have got the best of me. So, you know, false alarm. You're lying. Sorry for dragging Miss White into this. What's, What's going on? on? What do you mean? Stop lying. Nothing's going on, Big B. I don't know what you mean. Truly. False alarm is all. Sorry. No. It sounded like gunshots on the phone, and then your your kid was crying. Is your son in there? Oh, he's fine, Miss White. Just stung his little toe. Better swimmer than Walker, just like his dad. Wanna? So, yeah. I guess you'll be taking off now. No need to hang around here anymore. Mm -mm. I mean, I'm sorry you came all the way here for nothing. But nope. it was nothing. I'm gonna look around. Really. Screw you. Someone was here, and something's going on. Just so this trip wasn't a complete waste of time, I'm gonna look around a bit before we leave, okay? The longer you talk, the longer this takes. So just stand over there and shut up. All right, all right. I just don't want to waste your time. Well. You already now, did by calling seat. me here. Have a cup of tea, whatever you like. Don't trust this guy. TJ, are you all right? There you are. I don't mean to intrude, but Flycatcher said you had a pretty awesome insect collection, and I was wondering if you could, perhaps, let me see it? It has a weevil. Cool. Snow White is so nice. <laughs> Just mind the upholstery while you're looking for nothing. Yeah. Sure yeah, while I'm is. looking at nothing, okay there. Freaking liar. Now this happened. Fucking hell. Damn thing must have fell off the table. <laughs> sure, sure it did. Just fell, fell off. off the table. Well, the boy was faffing about, playing sods and swordfish. Who knows with the lad? Huh. Okay. Let's see, what else is around here? Is that blood? Hmm. What happened here? The poker? What of it? There's fresh blood on the tip. I could smell it from the door. Oh, I was I was poking the coals and it slipped a bit. Sliced up in my foot like a seashell. Looked like a shit ugly thing. Sounds painful. <laughs> Oi! Don't you go mavering now. The wound His foot didn't doesn't sit look very like... long, you know. Perks of being a fable, I suppose. <laughs> and a frog. Uh huh. Don't believe you. Why? Why is he hiding stuff? What is it now? If it's blood, you know what happened. I no. There's marks here on the window sill. And what's that about? Yeah. No real reason. Just last night, when I'd come out, I was in a, a downright dizzy, mate, as you would be. <laughs> and I plumb forgot the keys to this place. <laughs> this guy's such a bad liar. Really? Scared Junior off to death. Hmm. There's a mark over here, too. What do you mean? There's a clean space in the dust over here. Oh. Maybe one of Junior's toys or something? I mean, who knows? The lamp. Yeah, the lamp, because it's, it's not plugged from that side. If you're gonna say something, out with it. That broken lamp used to be here, right? Just tell me what happened. Nothing happened, mate. Nothing! And why did the lamp I don't get it. Is he just there? not I saying it because he wants to protect his family inquiries. or something? It's my own place. Don't you think I'll know what happens in it? Because it wasn't on that table, Toad. There isn't any room in the electric outlets. Huh? What are it you- It was plugged in over here, and now it's there. Uh, I did some refiguring. Who fucking cares? And not plug it in? Come on, Toad. I just hadn't gotten around to it yet. You see how many damn plugs there are? Uh-huh. It's not that complicated, but all right. Though most people think they are. Uh-huh. 
How's it going? Toad's hiding something, but I don't know what yet. Did the kid say anything? No, but I'm worried. He has two huge bruises on his arms. He won't tell me why, and he acted nervous when I brought it up. Huh. Something's going on. Definitely. Stay until I figure out more. All right, you stay there. Do I actually have to beat this guy? Oh, there's a busted latch. I didn't even notice why that. Why is the lock busted? Huh? The lock. It looks like somebody kicked in the door. A spot of dust and a broken knot. What are yeah, you because at, he did mate? say to the son, like, oh, he's I gone now. The fucking lock's been busted for weeks, mate. Well, it's just like everything else in this bloody building. Hmm. Okay, Sheriff. Now what? Why haven't you fixed this? Anyone on the street could just walk right in. There's better priorities than busted doorknobs. And who's gonna come in and take anything? There's nothing to take. That's not an excuse, though. Damn it, he talked his way out of it, though. <laughs> it's just some wood rot. Not mold or <laughs> Wood rot that looks like blood? Here. Oh? Really? Yeah, still fresh. Well, like I told you, I cut me hand. Ran around like a tit trying to pick out a rat. Must have got some on the furnishments. Bloody hell, Bigby. What sinister bit have you uncovered this time? I left the tap water running. I thought you cut your foot. Recycling? What's the point of all this, mate? Really? Wait, you cut your hand? You told me before that you cut your foot. Yeah, no, I, I did cut my hand. I cut my hand first, and that made me drop the damn thing on my foot. <laughs> uh huh. Uh, ruinous flip of events, really. That doesn't make any goddamn sense. Oh my god, will you not make a big faff out of this? There's nothing to solve here, Sheriff. I'm telling you everything that happened. Why don't you believe me? Because you're lying out of your ass, dude. I mean, things happen, you know. Someone was attacked. This apartment's a goddamn mess, Toad. Looks like after a struggle or a fight. I don't know why you cover for it. But I know you're lying about something. But I'm not. And you're just going to make it worse for yourself the longer you keep up the act. Exactly. Can we arrest I'm this guy? I'm <laughs> bullshitting you. Honest. We'll see. Bigby, come on. I'm begging for mercy over here, old boy. I was looking forward to a nice afternoon. Just me and me son, and you've taken up enough of a day with all this... the sniffing around at me private belongings. I'm sorry I called. Really, I am. But will you please, please just bugger off? Not yet. Not yet? No one fought anyone, Bigby. There wasn't any strap. So when? When are you gonna leave? When you tell me the truth. I mean... I feel like I'm on trial here, in my own bloody home. It's not seemly. When? When you start telling me the truth, Toad. Well, I've told you the truth, mate. Jesus Christ, what more do you want? I'm gonna threaten Toad, I'll screw this. In. I had enough of this Close shit. Name. This is all getting a bit- I'm gonna grab him, I'm not gonna hit him, but I'll grab him. No limit for bullshit, Toad. And I think we reached it ten minutes ago. Now, Dad! you're gonna tell me what's going on here, or I'm gonna start- Dad! Oh, shit. Bigby, is this really necessary? Well, at this point, yeah, kind of. Oh. He's hiding something. Either something he knows or something he's kept, but I won't play any more games with him. Dad? Oh, my God. Take off your hat. Bigby, you didn't... He didn't. <gasps> it was that butcher, a, a twig. Oh, okay. Thing. You gotta strip them down to their johnnies before you can tell which is which. They come bulging in, screaming about something the woodsman had. Or thought he had, I don't know. He tore up the place, beat me up when I said I didn't have it. And if you had come in when I asked you to, maybe he wouldn't have had the nerve to strong-arm me boy. He hurt Toad Jr. How awful. 
Damn it, I knew I should have came to this place first. It's always the same with you, isn't it, Big B? If I'm in trouble, need help, if I call about something, you always take the live long day to get here. What if he done something worse, eh? I'm tired of feeling trivial, mate. A lot of us are. We're sorry, TJ. Really. We were lucky it didn't go any further. What was he looking for? Well, I don't have a fucking clue, Sheriff. I would have told you. I wanted to, really, I did. But he said if word of this ever got back to him, if he ever thought you knew, or Miss White, he'd come back and kill my boy. Huh. I even tried to give the bastard a coat. He wouldn't take it. Whose coat? The girl. Dad borrows things from people who live here. You mean steal uh, stuff? Sometimes. Borrows. I don't steal nothing. Turn around here would astonish you, mate. We'll merely repossess what's been left behind. Well, we'll be taking the coat now. If she has next of kin, family, anyone. All right. Fetch him the fur. Fine bit of dress it is. You know what? I'm not sorry for threatening him. I just didn't want Snow or the Sun to witness it. Oh, it's the donkey skin. No, I wouldn't wear it outside. Wait. What is this? Hello. It's an envelope. Fucking hell, of course there is. For my luck, it's a map to some bloody doubloons. It's addressed to Prince Lawrence. What do you want to do with it? Oh, oh, we should definitely open it because it's an investigation, but at the same time, I don't want to disrespect Lawrence, but I feel like he's, uh, should I just open it? Because, like, I know it's addressed to him, but, like, if, if it might can contain clues, and if we give it to Lawrence, he might not say it to us. I'm going to open it. I know it sucks, but I'm going to open it. I'm sorry, Faye. What could she have been sorry for? I don't know. But maybe Lawrence does. Well, it's been quite a surprising day for all of us, hasn't it? I'd see you out, but I'm afraid of dripping any more blood in the place. It was very nice talking to you, TJ. Thanks. Uh, see ya. And don't worry about what happened earlier. Just feel better, okay? Snow is too nice. Boy, Snow is so nice. <laughs> you. Fucking Christ. Next time, just go to the bloody trip trap if you're looking for the woodsman. Oh, shut up. What? I'll be honest, Bigby. I don't really know how to feel about what happened in there. We got what we came for. Some information. He'll be alright. She's mad at us. Great. So, split a cab? Sure. I can only go to the trip trap for now, anyway. Not because of what Toad said. Hopefully the woodsman's there. Or, I don't know. Someone who will know where to find it. It's my best lead. Our only lead, really. When you put it that way. Every time I think I'm getting a handle on what's going on, things just get more complicated. It feels like we're always a step behind. Well, isn't that how it usually is with like detectives and stuff like that? They don't really get to catch up right away. Getting some answers out of them will start to clear things up. I hope you're right. Bigby, be honest with me. Who do you think did this? I don't know who did it. I know it's still early, but D, her I husband, the feel woodsman. A step behind. More. What's more? Bluebeard, the pimp. It's an uncomfortable feeling. Uh, 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 Bluebeard, maybe. I don't know. Yet, but, uh... Tell me, 
I don't think anything would surprise me at this point. I feel like Bluebeard has something to do with this. I had the same suspicion. I don't know how or why just yet, but if you're asking, this is his M.O. There's still a lot of questions. We find the woodsman, figure out what he knows, and go from there. Makes sense. That's probably the best approach. What? Uh, uh, thanks for your help. Thanks I for wish you. there was... Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Sorry. You know what, you go ahead. Go ahead. I didn't mean to cut you off. No, it's... It's nothing. I just... <laughs> oh my god. Seeing all this today, there are fables that are struggling worse than I'd imagined. We pay so much attention to the residents of the Woodlands. You forget there's a whole community out there to serve. To have to turn to... prostitution. I... I wish there was more we could do. This isn't how I thought it would be. But Crane runs things his own way. You're doing your best. It's all anyone can do. Obviously, you don't know what I do all day. Right now, I'm the gatekeeper, making sure none of these disenfranchised folks are, as he puts it, wasting his time. You'll fix it. I don't know what to say to this, like, you know? Aw, at least she appreciated it. It's just a broken system. The fables who walk in through the back door, like Bluebeard, we have all the time in the world for them. You try and come in through the front door, through the proper channels, asking for anything, needing help. Well, I turn you away. Like I said earlier, Snow White is so nice. Now things are worse off than they've ever been. Well, that's not true. Right. We've had it worse, but not by much. Maybe this isn't for me. I thought public service was pure. You'll figure it out. Don't give You'll up. Clearly she out. cares. You're better than I am with this political stuff. Well, that's not saying much. I trust you to make the right decision. I hope you're right. Alright. The tip trap. Here we go. Yeah, maybe you should handle this one. Yeah, maybe I should. Yeah. Maybe I, I think should. it's better. She should go home or something. Big B. I um, just be careful. She wants to say I love you. Please don't die. <laughs> You too. The same goes for you. I will. I know she's just going like, you know, but still. <sighs> Alright, let's see what the hell is over here. The Trip Trap Bar. The Bronx. We're in New York, right? Oh, cuz like everyone knows no, him. Sheriff. Ah, uh, should I be honest? It, you I'm know looking what? for the woodsman. Well, he's not here. So I guess you can go now. Nah. Look, I'm not even gonna ask where he is now, okay? I just want to know the last time he was here. That's all. Who? I'm being nice. So try again. He hasn't been here for a few weeks. Uh, I don't know about that. Why well, you keep looking over no, at this guy? Maybe. I don't know. 
But yeah, he hasn't been here in a while, if he's been here at all, which... I don't know. Why is everyone lying to me? I hate it. Ugh. Don't let him tell you what to do. You're your own woman. Well, this is me talking, Bigby. Fuck off. Hmm. I was trying to be nice, but I guess not. stools in this place yeah I want to talk to you though you don't have to I don't want to have to yell <laughs> you got a problem friend I don't like you and now you're sitting right next to me well, you could ask me to move you're gonna order something or are you just here to bother my customers you know what I mean Give me a Midas gold. You want a wine? No. <laughs> well, I don't got any anyway. Wow, okay. I'm not leaving That's though. Funny. Yep. Think it's fucking hilarious. It was all right. This is serious, Holly. Harboring a fugitive is going to get you in as much trouble as he's in. You could lose everything. Oh, hello. What's that noise? What's that? Sounds like someone's back there. I think we're going to have to fight, aren't we? Holly, you're out of paper towels in <laughs> Oh, look who it is. Okay. Saved your beer for you. Holly wanted to clear it, but uh, I said no. You'll be back. Now, here you are. You and me have been going at it for hundreds of years. I'm through fighting. So then, tell me the truth, then. Well, Woody, that makes two of us. He has to know something about Come faith. Come on. I decided to switch seats. Whoa. Just want to talk. This doesn't have to go like this. Who is this guy? Maybe he don't want to talk to you. Why don't we let him tell me that? Okay, Grim. Gonna try my best not to get in an argument with this guy. Because we need Funny. information. Just a minute ago. No one seemed to know who you were. Yeah. Well, everyone knows you. Big bad wolf. <laughs> now I'm the bad guy and you're a sheriff. What kind of fucking world is that, huh? Come on, Woody. You know why I'm here. You want to know what happened? Yeah. Amongst other things, sure. <laughs> it's funny. The shit you're willing to do for money. I'd walk past her place for weeks. Look like it. She had money. I was sure of it. Guess she wouldn't put up any kind of fight. <laughs> I was gonna rob her. Wow, I'd why? Finally get up the nerve to do it. There you are. Fucking things up for me. You were just in the wrong place at the wrong time. What the hell are you talking about? What are you talking about exactly? I don't want to take him in yet. We gotta... You know. Our grandmother, I was there to rob him. But when I showed up, you were already there, lying in the bed. I only oh. saved her because I thought she might give me a reward. But she didn't give me shit. What does this have to do with anything, anything right now? Night. I played along as long as I could. I already know this story, Woody. 
You should. You were there. I'm not talking about Red Riding Hood. I'm here about Faith. She was murdered. What? Faith? Who's that? The girl you were beaten on this morning. No, 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 no. I, I was here. I swear. It doesn't look good when a girl you were just smacking around shows up dead. Yeah, it doesn't look good later. for him. She's dead. Big <laughs> listen, I I'm a piece of shit, okay. I know that. I hit that girl. I did. I, I shouldn't have, but I didn't kill her. You believe me, right? They're gonna I, string I don't think he's the one who did it, but like I feel like he's holding information from bad. us. It looks really bad, but I didn't do it. He was here. That's the fucking truth, Sheriff. Okay, relax. See, Bigby, please. You can't. They'll throw me down the witching well. That's what they'll do. And I didn't do it. You know that. Hey, stop! This isn't what I want. Yeah, I don't want to fight Shut either. The fuck up, Woody. Shit ain't just about you. It's about this fucking lapdog. When he comes sniffing around this part of town when the rich fucks in the woodlands need a shakedown. Ain't that right, Big B? Uh, I'm not saying anything. Holly's sister goes missing. No one gives two shits about her. Paperwork, waiting rooms, and that bitch Snow White looking Whoa, right past hey. me, then ushering me out the fucking door. I wouldn't call her that. It's happened before, and it doesn't end well. Don't talk shit about my girl. Are you kidding me? Bitch of the bitch. I'm not gonna hit him. What the hell? Oh. Oh, great. I was trying to be peaceful, and you just had to be a dick, didn't you? Should have walked out of here when you had the chance. Come on. You're scaring the lady. Don't worry about me. Oh, perfect. Everybody's just coming out now, huh? All right. <laughs> Do we have to turn into the wolf? I know we're not supposed to, but like... Even freaking Woodsman didn't even want to like fight either. Come on, I just wanted to talk with him, but I don't believe he's the one who killed uh, Faith. I definitely think- oh shit. Okay, well I definitely think that he has something, because he was- he was trying to rob her, or like, ask if he- ask if she knew who he was, which I thought was weird. Ow! Snow isn't here, cause um, this would have been terribly. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> I don't want to kill this guy. We're done. We're done. I'm not doing it. It's not worth it because it's not going to solve anything, you know? Whiskey. Double. Everyone's really scared of him. That's why they call him the big bad wolf, right? Who 
Wait, so does alcohol make us change back? Uh, I'll pay for it. Shit. It's oh, god damn it. For it anyway. Don't even think about it. Is this the type of treatment I can expect if I let you take me in? No, I, I didn't even want to fight to begin with. This asshole kicked me. You know what I mean? No. no. If you come quietly, you'll be treated with respect. But it turns out. You killed that girl. Well, you know what that means. Now what? All right, I got a hundred bucks for the first bloke that can tell me something about a girl name. Oh, hello, it's this asshole again. Fuck. Wait, what? No! I have to choose! So Woodsman attacked Faith because she kept he kept asking her if she, if she knew who he was. That's the only reason, apparently. And this guy is is uh, looking for information on her. I don't know who I should go after. Maybe I should go after the dude, right? Not not Woodsman, because like I think it's too obvious that he had something to do with this. I don't know. I'm gonna go after this idiot. Fuck, Ben. That's not necessary. Yeah. Shit. He's the one you want, not me. Your brother won't be saving you this time. Come on. You're under arrest. I told you I didn't do it. And you got nothing to worry about. Ah, uh, he, he, I hope I made the right choice. The hell's happening? Do anything stupid, and I'll throw you down the witching well myself. Last slipper. What is it? Oh no! This is something to do with beauty or something? her no what are you fucking kidding me oh my god no no it can't be her we had something very special Oh my god! Yo, that's fucked up! I didn't think this Here's game would go brother. that way! Fuck you! Give me one good reason I should tell you anything. Where's the rest of her? Serial killer. Oh. Oh my. A serial killer? Oh god, it's one of us? Wait. The woodsman's still walking the streets. We've got to put a lid on this. If you can't manage it, I'll find someone who can. I found out where she's been staying. I know she's here. You must have seen her. What are the two of you hiding? Thanks for not saying anything. Doesn't matter. Maybe you just want to Oh my someone. god. We can arrange that. What did you do? Friend on friend. At the end of the end. Jesus Christ, Big B. Is that you? What the fuck? 
episode two, Smoke and Mirrors. Oh my god! Why did they kill her? I like Snow White! What? I'm so upset now. Oh my god, okay. You and 84% of players gave Faith the money. 19% of players stayed out of it. 30% went to see Prince Lawrence before helping Toad. Okay. And you prevented Prince Lawrence's death. What? That's a thing? Oh, okay. Prime suspects. You and 13% point the finger at Bluebeard. All right, and 68% um, arrested Tweedledee. What the fuck, yo? I'm so mad. Why did they kill her? Come on. I should have saw it coming too when she was trying to confess. Fucking God damn it. Uh... <laughs> um, so this was interesting. I wasn't sure if I was actually gonna like this game because I, I don't know anything about Fables, the comic book, uh, or the graphic novel of this game. So I, I wasn't sure if I was gonna like it or not. But it's interesting. So it's taking all like the fairy tales that we know and it's putting in like a modern twist and they're like, they're, they're, they have to hide their identity, of course, and act as humans. But we are the big bad wolf, Big B Wolf, and we're a detective. So that's very interesting. That this whole thing, and then we're just trying to figure out who's the murder. I don't know who it is, really. Um, because I have to go into some backstories of some fairy tales because I don't really recognize some of them. But this is such an interesting concept. I really like it, so please let me know in the comments what you guys thought. I can't believe I, I took so long to play this game. I can't wait for season two. It's gonna come out next year, but... Let me know in the comments what you guys thought about this and what choices you made for episode one. And um, if you would like me to continue this, because I, I definitely want to. I can't believe they killed Snow White. Maybe it, it would have been better if she came with us to the bar. But it had to happen, right? That she had to die. I'm just so upset. Dude, she didn't deserve that. She was so nice too. Why do the nice ones always die? <laughs> Anyway, if you guys enjoyed this episode of The Wolf Among Us, remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to join the companions. And if you'd like to help support the channel on Patreon, there's a link in the description. You get early access to videos. Videos are Patreon only. The Discord server to come talk to me and a bunch of other stuff as well. Or you can support the channel with gawkbox.com slash a girl in a game. It's free to use. You support the channel with real money and you all you have to do is just download the games on my page and play them and you'll tip real money to the channel so I can keep making videos like this and keep the channel going as well. Just let me know what you guys thought and I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye! Aww. Of course. In every way or develop another character. Video game deaths can be tragic. Here are six sad character deaths from video games. Roman, Grand Theft Auto 4.